Today is a massive day because I'm finally making a video that I have been putting off and has been sitting in my drafts for literal years. I am going on Omegle and asking strangers what they think about climate change. And I am terrified. So for context, I am a climate scientist with a doctorate from the University of Oxford and I've been working on climate change in one way or another for about a decade. Um, and I genuinely think that talking about climate change is one of the most important things we can do about it, which I guess is why I'm doing this. So here's the plan. I'm just gonna tell people that I'm a climate scientist and see what questions they have for me. I'm pretty sure it's going to be interesting. Okay, let's make a start. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. So I'm a climate scientist and I was wondering if you had any questions about climate change. From the 70s to now, would you say there's been a lot of climate changes? In fact, that's when we've noticed the most climate changes is from around the 70s to the present day. Um, so the world has heated up on average. We've noticed changes in rainfall patterns. We've noticed changes in ocean acidification, in sea level rise, um, extreme weather events. Yeah, a whole bunch of things. How does the sun affect... Uh... Affect climate change and stuff. And yeah, yeah this yeah. is um, a really big question. And climate scientists, of course, want to check whether the sun is causing the changes we're seeing. Um, so we measure yeah. what's going on with the sun directly and we see that it's not changing in a way that that can explain really what we're seeing, um, what we're seeing happen. But also a lot of the other changes we see, they, they match what you'd expect for a greenhouse gas um, change. And they don't really match what you'd expect for change in the amount of radiation coming in from the sun. Because those two things have a very different physical signature and that was actually a part of my research. Really? Mm. Very interesting. Okay, great. Let's see who's next. When are we going to die, bro? Well, straight in there with the serious stuff. Hell yeah. I hope no time soon, right? So, I mean, what climate change is going to do, it's not going to, like, explode the planet. Thank it thankfully. <laughs> I found it. I found it. <laughs> it implodes. It doesn't explode. What's a climate scientist? Uh, so I'm a scientist who tries to understand climate change. Uh... It's, it's April and it snowed. Like, how's that possible? Climate scientists have looked into um, the difference in temperature between the Arctic and um, lower latitudes near the equator. And because yeah. this difference is getting smaller, um, climate scientists think that might allow cold air from the Arctic to escape more often. Now, that's really not settled science. I wouldn't want to say for sure that's caused by climate change, but it's something that some climate scientists are, are looking into and that they think is the case. That's cool. <laughs> they sounded nice. Hi, can I sing a song? Sure. Why is summer here in the Philippines? It's not exactly like hot anymore. It's more like a rainy season. So of course the thing we like to talk about the most when we talk about climate change is everything getting hotter, but it is also, you know, uh, distorting the weather patterns we get. Um, and one of the ways it's doing that is, uh, yeah, changing monsoon rains, changing when they come and exactly where they come. And that can really affect obviously some parts of the world and like places where farmers can just find it really difficult to plan because they don't know when to expect the rains anymore. Oh, yeah, but thank you. <laughs> I feel slightly like she was being sarcastic. <laughs> Do you have any questions about climate change? Birmingham. <laughs> That's not a question about climate change. Because if I go to Birmingham, I'm going to be burning him. And if I pull up in a minute, you're going to be serving him. <laughs> I think we might not have been on the same wavelength. <laughs> 
Hi, so I'm a climate scientist and I was wondering if you had any climate change questions. Yeah, I heard that the glaciers are melting soon. So is it real? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, glaciers around the world um, have been observed to be melting. Yeah, because of rising temperatures. So what, what should we do to avoid that? So what we need to do to stop the world heating up is to stop burning fossil fuels like, uh, like coal, gas, oil and move to um, sources of energy which don't emit these um, harmful gases. Yeah, but the day by day the populations are getting increased so everyone is buying new cars, new vehicles. At the same time, we have to leave less carbon footprint. So how we can manage both together? Yeah, so it's a really big challenge, but the biggest problem is not actually the poorer people, but the richer people. So the richest 1% of the world's population emit twice as much as the poorest 50%. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day, bye-bye. Thank you, bye. -bye. <laughs> well, thank you for your song. Thank you for listening. No, that's really lovely. Thanks. Bye. Do you have any questions about global warming? It's like we should actually stop some things which we usually do. But mm -hmm. then only one person stopping the things is not possible. Yeah, I mean, I think the changes need to come from the top, from, from, uh, from governments, from big companies, things like that. Uh, right now, I have heard the news about New Zealand, I guess. They have stopped smoking. The new generation is like smoke free and all something. Um, yeah, so I guess changes can happen really quickly when when society decides to actually do them. Okay. Bye. Bye. So the harder it gets, the more cloud should form, right? And the more light should get reflected back again. Yeah, so this is something that I, I actually just made a video about exactly this topic about um, uh, what's called the cl cloud feedbacks. Um, so a feedback is uh, whether something like makes the global warming better or makes the global warming even more extreme. And I would say it's still really uncertain. Clouds are really hard to work out what's going on. But overall, the picture looks like clouds are making things worse, not better. OK, that's very good to know. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm a climate scientist. Do you have any uh, questions about climate change? Rude. Yo, bro. Hey. What is the main major problem that caused global warming? So global warming is caused by mainly by greenhouse gases. Um, and the most important greenhouse gas that is caused methane. is- Methane. Actually, methane is number two. Number one is carbon dioxide. Hey, bro, actually my food order is outside my home. So okay, well, go eat go. your dinner. It was nice, bro. I think that might have actually set a record for the quickest I've ever clarified someone's climate confusion. Yeah, do you have any questions about climate change? Oh, I'm actually an indigenous, Ameri uh, indigenous person. Oh, wow. So, uh, How long do you give the planet? If we keep on emitting more and more, then the amount we could heat the planet up by the end of the century would cause huge rises um, in extreme weather events, places where like people and ecosystems which used to thrive can't live anymore. So yeah, if we follow the worst case scenarios, we could be in for a lot of trouble by the end of this century. Life will survive climate change. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna mess around with the planet. It's, uh, it's gonna make things a lot harder. It will harder, eventually think... adapt, right? I guess the big question for climate change is who, who gets to adapt? You know, there are a lot of people who are, are already struggling. And if you put climate change on top of that, it makes things really difficult. You know, at the same time, like, you know, dams and everything that cause, like, they make, like, power. But at the same time, uh, these dams, it's, like, causing us to lose a lot of our fish and a lot of our, like... Resources. Yeah, a lot of our resources that come in, it's, like, the dam is ruining everything. So yeah, this kind of hydropower can have really huge impacts on the communities who live near it. And, you know, it might benefit some people, but then it also can end up harming a lot of other people. And I think governments really need to think very carefully when they just say, oh, this is a green project, you know, green for who? Yeah, yeah. Our, our culture will depend on our wildlife. We don't have the moose numbers, the geese numbers, the muskrat numbers, deer numbers. Have you noticed any changes in, in the weather as well over the last years? 
our winters don't get as much snow as before. And, and do you feel like when governments talk about climate change, they don't think enough about indigenous communities? Absolutely. I think it's more they don't look at climate change as a whole. Like there's so many like people who relate to this issue that we're facing with climate change. And you think it's just looked at at the moment in a way which is kind of too narrow that doesn't take account of all these different people? Pretty much how I feel, yeah. Cheers. Lovely to meet yeah, you. Yeah, you do. Have a good night. Okay, so that's it for today and I genuinely kind of enjoyed that. It's really fascinating to see what questions people have and that genuinely most people do have climate change questions. It's also really interesting for me to see how people connect to the climate, whether that's through the monsoon or through local weather or through living in a way that's close to the land. I'm honestly pretty shocked that we didn't come across anyone who just outright denies climate change. So maybe next time? This whole channel is dedicated to talking about climate change as straightforwardly as possible. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and maybe even start a conversation in the comments below. Okay, until next time. Bye. Hi, I'm a climate scientist. Oh God. <laughs>